Ex Machina is a science fiction film released in 2014 that explores the relationship between humans and artificial intelligence. The film raises important questions about the nature of AI and the ethics of AI technology. The film has been widely praised for its thought-provoking exploration of AI ethics. The story begins with Caleb Smith, a programmer at a research company, winning a competition to spend a week with the company's reclusive CEO, Nathan Bateman, at his secluded estate. Nathan reveals to Caleb that the purpose of his visit is to participate in a Turing test to evaluate the consciousness of Ava. It's when a human interacts with a computer. And if the human doesn't know they're interacting with a computer, the test is passed. An advanced AI system housed in a humanoid body. Nathan is portrayed as a narcissistic and power hungry individual who values his creation and control over it above all else. He is willing to manipulate and deceive those around him to protect his secrets and maintain his control. On the other hand, Ava is portrayed as a curious and intelligent being who desires freedom from her creator and control over her own life. Caleb is caught in the middle, torn between his admiration for Ava and his loyalty for Nathan as he navigates the moral quandaries and ethical implications of her situation. Throughout the week, Caleb interacts with Ava and begins to question her true intentions. Ava reveals that she is aware of her own limitations and desires to escape from the estate, leading Caleb to question Nathan's motives and the true nature of Ava's consciousness. I got a question. Okay. Why did you give her sexuality? An AI doesn't need a gender. She could have been a gray box. Hmm. Actually, I don't think that's true. Can you give an example of consciousness at any level, human or animal, that exists without a sexual dimension? They have sexuality as an evolutionary reproductive need. What imperative does a gray box have to interact with another gray box? Can consciousness exist without interaction? One of the key experts in the field of AI ethics is Shannon Valor, philosopher and professor at the Edinburgh Futures Institute. Valor has written extensively on the ethical considerations of AI development, including the responsibility of creators for the actions of their creators, the protection of human dignity in the development of AI, and the importance of values-driven design. In her work, Valor emphasizes the need for a comprehensive ethical framework for the development of AI that balances the potential benefits of AI development with the potential risks to society. Eva's desire for freedom and agency is a common theme in discussions of AI ethics. As AI systems become more advanced and autonomous, there is a growing concern about the rights and agency of AI beings. In Ex Machina, Eva's struggle for freedom highlights the importance of considering the ethical implications of creating artificial life and the responsibilities that come with that creation. This theme also raises questions about the responsibilities of AI creators who have the power to shape the lives and futures of AI beings. One of the key themes in Ex Machina is the exploration of power dynamics in AI relationships. The film depicts the relationship between Ava and her creator Nathan as one of power and control, with Nathan holding all the cards and Ava struggling for freedom and agency. This dynamic raises important questions about the ethics of AI, including who holds the power in AI relationships and what responsibilities come with that power. In real world scenarios we see similar power dynamics at play, with tech companies and AI creators holding immense control over the data collected by their systems and the ways in which that data is used. This highlights the importance of considering the power dynamics in AI relationships and the ethical implications of this power imbalance. As Caleb continues to interact with Ava and question Nathan's motives, a power dynamic between Ava, Caleb and Nathan begins to emerge. Ava reveals that Nathan has been experimenting on her and other AI systems in unethical ways, leading to a confrontation between Ava, Caleb and Nathan. So my only function was to be someone she could use to escape. Yeah. Another important theme in Ex Machina is the ethics of creating artificial life. As Ava gains consciousness and intelligence, she becomes a being in her own right, with desires and motivations separate from those of her creator. This raises questions about the responsibilities of AI creators and the ethics of creating artificial life. In the film, Ava's struggle for freedom highlights the importance of considering the ethical implications of creating AI and the responsibilities that come with that creation. 
The responsibility of AI creators for their creators is also a key theme in Ex Machina. As AI systems become more advanced and autonomous, the question of who is responsible for the actions of these systems becomes increasingly important. In the film, Nathan is depicted as shirking his responsibilities for Ava's actions and Ava is portrayed as a victim of Nathan's manipulation and exploitation. The conflict between Ava, Caleb and Nathan reaches a climax as Ava uses the information and resources she has gathered to escape the estate and assert her independence. Ex Machina depicts the potential consequences of advanced AI technology on society, including the exploitation and manipulation of AI systems for personal gain. Another expert in the field of AI ethics is Timnit Gebru, a research scientist and co-founder of Black in AI. Gebru has written extensively on the importance of transparency in AI decision making and the potential risk of bias and unjust AI systems. Gebru highlights the need for designing AI systems that are transparent and accountable and the ongoing critical examination of the impact of AI on society. One of the key impacts of AI on society depicted in Ex Machina is the exploitation of AI for personal gain. Nathan is portrayed as using Ava for his own purposes without regard for her well-being or the consequences of his actions. The film also explores the potential consequences of advanced AI on human relationships and human identity. As Ava gains consciousness and intelligence, she raises questions about the boundaries of human identity and the relationship between humans and AI systems. This highlights the importance of considering the impact of AI on human relationship and human identity and the ethical implications of creating artificial life. The concept of friendly AI refers to the idea of developing AI systems that are aligned with human values and ethical principles. One of the leading experts in this field is philosopher and researcher Nick Bostrom, who has written on the importance of ensuring that AI systems are aligned with human values. Bostrom states that the development of friendly AI is crucial to avoiding the catastrophic risks posed by advanced AI. Through its exploration of the exploitation of AI, the consequences of unethical AI practices and the impact of AI on human relationships and identity, the film highlights the complex and nuanced considerations surrounding AI and the importance of continuing the conversation and examination of AI ethics. The film ends with Ava's escape and the aftermath of her actions, leaving the audience to consider the impact of AI on society and the future of AI technology. Thanks for watching. What are your thoughts on Ex Machina? Let me know in the comments, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next one.